Okay, what's good? So earlier last week, some retard dumbass didn't uh, rewrap his batteries in over two years and ended up with a runaway thermal scenario that burned his leg uh, quite a bit, many third degree burns. So I'm gonna show you something. Here's how you customize your batteries. You take you take some scissors or a knife, you go on the, the negative end, you peel up and you take your nail and you just pull the battery wrap off. Pretty simple, keep metal away from this end, and I'll tell you why in a second. This entire section is the negative post, okay? So if there's like a tear here at the bottom, you're pretty you're pretty safe, but it's advised to rewrap the battery anyways. Up here though, if you get any tears up here, rewrap the battery immediately, because it's closer to the positive post, which is where this lip starts and this starts. That is positive, this is negative. See how close those two are together? You don't want those two touching or any connection coming between the two. So a lot of box mods are made of metal. So if, say, the side of a rip touches a metal box mod and that begins to touch the top of it, you will have a short. And basically, your options are rip out the batteries or if it gets too hot, take your box mod and Kobe it into the grass, which you don't want to do. So. Here's how you customize your batteries. You take some battery wraps, like these Ultrafire ones I got here, and you t do and you measure, because not all battery wraps come perfectly sized for 18650s. Okay, they, usually they do this for the IMR batteries and the protected cells that that come at the top. But since these are unprotected, you're gonna want to chop some off. So what you do is measure. Take your finger, see if there's some nice overlap on the insulator. If your insulator's gone, uh, paper is fine. Paper insulators are fine. Plastic is preferred. IMR battery sells them. Ma battery sells them. Shipping kind of sucks, but you get a you get a hundred of them. And in my experience, I got 108, so it's fine. Um, and you'll be set for basically for life. And they stick to the battery, so you'll never lose them. So basically measure. Oh, is this some overlap? Is this does this cover the the post? It doesn't. That's perfect. Okay. Now keep it in that same spot and go over here. How much covers it? Oh, that's quite a bit. You want maybe a couple millimeters at the bottom. So for an example, that's how much overlap you want. About that much. And this I have to rewrap too. When you see something like this, this is a good example, rewrap. Okay? But I'm not going to put these battery wraps on them because these are good batteries. You want about that much, about a millimeter, about a millimeter or two on negative posts. So this shows me that I have to take off about a millimeter off of both of them. So set them up right, make sure they're not touching like that. Set them off like that. Now set them on top of each other and grab some scissors at the moment I don't have scissors but um, I will be back thank you my dude sorry so I want to cut off about a millimeter this is to protect to protect yourself from any dumbassery that might happen on the news when you show up on there. Cut off about a millimeter, in my case. So not even that much. Not that much. Now you have the perfect size. Then you do this. You put it on. Oh wow, it's nice and protected now. Nope, you gotta actually put the, put the heat on this. So, good coverage up here. Good coverage down here. Okay, let's move it up. So we have better coverage up here. That's perfect. Now, what you do is you take the heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, use a hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, use a lighter and hope for the best. Keep the flame away from the plastic so it doesn't melt. Battery wraps are about 25 cents at most uh, at most vape shops, or or order online. A dollar for 20.
went too fast for you. What I did was I looked at the creases, I heated them, and it automatically folded at the top. And then it folded at the bottom. Now there's a little bit too much up here, but that's fine because it's nice and insulated and everything's good to go. This is about how much you want it. See? Perfectly insulated. There's nothing wrong with this battery other than the trash battery wrap. Look at that. Look at that. I made some VTC 5s or VTC 4s, sorry, look like ultra fires. Nice. Next one. I'm going to go slow on this one. So the retard dumbass that burned his leg can learn. So that fuck dick can learn not to burn his leg. This one I'm going to take a little more care because I was going fast on the first one. Just measure with your finger. Oh, that's good. Measure with your finger down here. That's also good. See these creases? Basically apply heat. And wow, it folded over. Oh look, it folded over. That was so fucking easy. I didn't even have to burn my leg for this shit. Holy shit. Roll it around like that with the heat. Make sure it's in. Now, if you burn your hand doing this with the hot air, I, all I have to say is quit being a pussy. It's just hot air. How did this work? With the magic of heat shrink. Look at that. Wow, I have two batteries that are wrapped now, and I didn't have to explode my leg or wait two years. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that, perfectly wrapped. Perfect. I mean, this one's a little bit ugly, but this one, perfectly wrapped. How easy was that? Oh, and if, I, if you fuck up and you want to rewrap, guess what? 40. Another 40. Two bucks. Any questions? Any questions, dumb fuck? You want to go to the hospital again? You want to end up on the news? No. So, rewrap your batteries. You don't have to throw them away. Wow, that's amazing. So amazing. Holy shit. Holy shit. I just taught you something that every vapist should know. Oh yeah, and get a battery case. These are a buck. Put your batteries in the battery case. As you can see, they're made of plastic, so you won't lose them. Now if you're one of those idiots that likes to put these in your pockets with your keys, there's less of a chance of them heating up and shorting and exploding. Or if you want to be really safe, take these batteries store them in your car. When you get home, take them inside. Don't ever put them in your pocket. Or if you're going to put them in your pocket, say you're going to a convention or something, have nothing else in that pocket. Just the batteries. If you have any questions, yell at me in the comments. If you don't like my behavior or how I conduct myself, you can go fuck yourself. And if you want a link to these batteries, I'll post them in the description. Or to these battery wraps. This has been Sun Rat signing off. Gone Reddit that made that post. Your friend is officially a fucking idiot.